Hi, my name is Yaslin Diosdado, and this is my poster on my journey to finding antibiotic producing bacteria. The reason we did this was to see if we found any, bac any soil sample that produced bacteria. And we started off with collecting a sample of soil from a random place. I chose Loose Park in Missouri, and we diluted a series of plates to see if we found any zones of inhibition around. After this, we did a master plate to find more clear zones of inhibition, and I proceeded to do some further testing. I did a tea streak plate, which helps with getting an isolated colony so we don't choose pick up too much um, bacteria when we do other tests. And I had no luck with mine, so I had to adopt a candidate from my classmate Mallory Smith, and I continued to do some more testing. We did antibiotic screening tests to see if our candidate was resistant, I guess, gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria, and my adopted candidate was resisted against E. coli, and you could see a zone of inhibition. Then we later proceeded to do gram-negative and gram-positive testing to see what my candidate was, and it turned, it, it turned up being gram-negative, because you could see the pink, and it was a bacilli. And we did some aerobic and anaerobic testing to see if my candidate was um, growing under oxygen or no oxygen, and it was a facultative anaerobe, so it was growing with both. And we proceeded to do some more testing since our gel electrophoresis testing was kind of a fail since we didn't have the right primers. And we found a serratia genus bacteria that was kind of the same to the ones that we found here, so we just kept doing further testing to confirm that it wasn't the serratia genus. And after, after doing all these testings, we did actually confirm that my candidate is in the serratia genus. Future steps for my research would be probably finding different primers. In this school, we were really, um, we didn't get much primers. So we had to work with what we had, and the primers we chose didn't work for us. So maybe if we chose a right primer, we could actually find which bacteria this is. We know it's in the serratia genus, but we don't know exactly which one it is. So my future steps would just be choosing a right primer so we can avoid doing all this other testing. Thank you.